This is what I heard. At some point in time, all right, because everybody's pretty much blitzed and drinking, right. all right? But at some point in time, it's almost like, um, what was that? Not the crying game or whatever, where you get in there, you get into the mood, and all of a sudden it's like, you look so good, I don't care. Okay. Okay. I've heard that also. Yeah, okay. So it's, okay. a, you know, and, and, and there have been guys who, you know, I mean, it's kind of like, the folks in Atlanta. I don't know if y'all been to Atlanta lately, but kind of like the guys Bubba who don't mind. Bubba lived there until recently. Oh, really? Right. 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 Well, you well, that's so. what I said. <laughs> who don't I, mind, you know? So. And I was going to say, like, Bubba's, I guess it was your uncle gave you the piece of advice. Like, and if you start talking to what you think is a girl, oh. ask for a baby picture. Yeah, ask for a baby picture. <laughs> yeah, man. I like that. I like that. <laughs> There were a number of guys that um, that that we would see, like you know, because yeah. when we you know from from the U.S., you'll see some guy. Hey, you know how's it going? Hey, where you going out tonight? Blah 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 blah. All right. And we would see like a couple of guys on the street uh, with the police, where they've been in a fist fight, right? Because they got caught in a room with someone that they thought was a female that was actually a male, and they didn't know it until they got into the room. So <laughs> that is, you know, be be very. And I'm ta- I'm, I'm telling you, we had a driver. Uh, Tanner Pond was our driver whenever we would go there. And Tanapon would take us out, and we'd just kind of hang out. And Tanapon, we would play this game with Tanapon. It's not what you think. It's not how it sounds. But we would play this game with Tanapon where he would say, tell me if the, the ladies that we see walking down the street, if they're men or women. Mm. And I will tell you that 90% of the time I was wrong. Wow. And now, and now listen now. I'm so wait, not, so Tanner Pond, he, he would know. He had a good he read on things. He, he okay. knew. He, he so tell. he was putting it out to you guys. Hey, that person on the right. Male or female. Yeah. And, and then we would call them over. And we would call them over and they would tell you if you just kind of add those, like, you know, but you would know. And listen, <laughs> I, I am, if, if, if this gives you any reference, I know women when I see women. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm, a, I'm, I'm 100%, 1,000% because I went to fam you. Okay. And I was on the highest of seven hills with some of the most beautiful women until I met my wife. I hope I get some points on that. <laughs> and I know what women look like. That's so cool. I, I wasn't, I wasn't, I'm not a guy that's going to be fooled until I got there. It I was scary. You. It was scary, man. So, so, but what is the setup? Like, do, do these people, like, do they enjoy fooling the guy? Or is, I mean, is there like some <laughs> ethic to the disclosure? Like, where are we at with this? Like, you know. So... <laughs> The, the interesting thing about Thailand, unlike the U.S., um, Thailand, they stop educating. Um, the, unless you have money, you stop going to public school in sixth grade. Really? The only win, the only people who can really make money in Thailand after a certain age are individuals, are, are ladies who work in the bar scene. Unless they, you know, unless they work in a, in a hotel and they go to school and different things like that. So if you come from a poor area of Thailand, the only ones that can make money are the ladies who go out and, you know, have fun with the men. Prostitutes. So, so the men, a lot of times uh, in families, so it's kind of like the reverse of what they do in China. They want to have girls because then they can send the girls into the city where they can make money. But if they don't have the girls, they turn the boys into girls, so to speak, so that they can send them out into the city to send money back to the family. So in a lot of sense, it's a sense of survival for them. Right, It's right, the only right. way that they can make money. Now, I, you know, once they get to a certain level like where we were, I think it was kind of fun and games for them. I mean, you know, I, I got Yeah, I mean, because I'm thinking, okay, yeah. you know, you seduce a guy at the bar. Now you're going back to him. The action's yeah. about to go down. I mean, certain things are literally going to come out. Yeah. And it's <laughs> like, you know, I mean, what's the deal here? I mean, because uh, you know, people are going to react violently perhaps. I mean, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm still stuck <laughs> on the conversation with the family. I mean, I can't, I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> my mom and dad sitting me down and yeah. saying, hey, this is what we got to do. You got to go make some money. You got to go make some money. <laughs> you got to go make some money. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What about my brother over here? <laughs> do we get to pick straws? I mean, what is <laughs> you know. wow. But, but, but I'm going to tell you, the, the, the closest movie um, that I could point you all to to say, listen, that's what it looks like is uh, Hangover 3. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hangover two. Yes, okay. yes, Hangover yes. two. That's it's right. Tight. That was awesome. That and, was yeah. that um, was hysterical. That, that whole scene. is yeah. it, that was when I when I saw that movie and I'm sitting there and I'm just like, yep, that's how that's how you get caught. That wow, is so that's how you get funny. caught. Wow, yeah. that is so funny. Well, do they? Do, that brings up a question. Do they try to get the the potential Johns like either so drunk or do they slip them like a drug? That they don't know the difference. Listen, so like they thought nah, they were putting it down, but nah. it was actually getting put down on them. This this is what I've heard. 
All right. I, I didn't experience this. And none of my boys <laughs> experienced this. So listen, none of my boys. This is what I heard. At some point in time, all right, because everybody's pretty much blitzed and drinking. Right. All right. But at some point in time, it's almost like, um, what was that? Not the crying game or whatever, where you get in there, you get into the mood, and all of a sudden it's like, you look so good, I don't care. Okay. Okay. I've heard that also. Yeah. Okay. So it's, okay. a, you know, and, and, and there have been guys who, you know, I mean, it's kind of like the folks in Atlanta. I don't know if y'all been to Atlanta lately, but kind of like the guys Bubba who don't mind. until recently. Oh, really? Right, right. Uh, well, right. well, that's so, what I said. <laughs> who don't I, mind, you know? So. Now, I was going to say, like, Bubba's, I guess it was your uncle gave you the piece of advice, like, and if you start talking to what you think is a girl, oh. ask for a baby picture. Yeah, ask for a baby picture. <laughs> yeah, man. I like that. I like that. <laughs> your uncle's a wise man. Yeah, yeah. He I'm, sure, I'm sure the communication level is not up to that level in Thailand. Nah. So, nah. So, yeah. Nah, they're not carrying around baby pictures. You, you know can't what go I mean? to that fan's house there. No, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. Yeah. So I, so you, you, uh, you, you also got fleeced at the uh, at the the pool table, was it? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it, it. You know, the only thing you really can do, um, you know, when you go there in the daytime is play pool. And so, you know, I'm from a I'm from a little small town, uh, Perry, Taylor County, Florida, but I grew up in Tallahassee, and so we think we can do everything where I'm from. Mm-hmm. Uh, and <laughs> pool was one of them that I thought that I could do. And so, you know, we go into a pool hall, you know, have a couple a couple drinks, but and their favorite drink there is Johnny Walker Black. Okay. With soda. So, I was going to ask you what is the, the drink of choice. Thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Johnny Walker Black or either Singha beer. That's that's what you're doing over there. Singha. Okay. And yeah. so, you know, I, I go to the pool table, and it's some, you know, looks like probably a, a you know, 19, 20-year-old. And so me and my buddy, we're in there, and he's from England, so he thinks he could put English on the ball and he could play pool. <laughs> and so, you know, we go there, and we're like, okay, well, listen, we're going to play. And so the first couple of games, you know, they're kind of like laughing, and, you know, the balls aren't going in and all of this other stuff. So we're thinking – we got this. We got this. <laughs> so you know, let's let's you know let's let's make it interesting. That's how that's how you know, let's make it interesting. So let's put you know a couple bot on the table, and all of a sudden, uh, balls that weren't going in before, all of a sudden they're banking balls and doing all this stuff. You know, and, and it's and it's almost like uh, you know almost like the uh, the five five five. Uh, oh yeah, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, Before you know it, you're down five thousand bot because you're trying to get dig, dig yourself out of a hole, man. Exactly. Because, yeah. Yeah. Exactly, man. That's awesome. That's exactly. Awesome. That, that sounds like a movie. You know, you see that all the time. That's how you get hustled, man. Yeah, you know, for it, sure. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. That's awesome. That's incredible. <laughs> I I'd still it reminds me of a Michael Jordan gambling story. <laughs> he was uh, he was over in England and he was playing golf with a, a professional uh, soccer player over there. Just because the, the the professional soccer player and his buddy were members of a club. And Jordan wanted access to the club, so you had to go with a member. So they show up, and he has Samuel L. Jackson with them, and it's Gary Lineker and this uh, this golf pro guy. And so they start talking and, and doing this and that, and they're getting ready, and, and you know, Jordan's like, well, hey, we're going to make this interesting. And the guy asks Jordan, he goes, well, what do you want to bet? And Jordan's response, whatever makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Now, and I will tell you, I did have some luck uh, gambling overseas, uh, but it was not in Thailand. It was actually in Malaysia. Okay. And so uh, the group that I was representing, we were um, they were performing at the MTV Asia Awards, uh, and so we we had to fly in like a couple days early. And the uh, hotel where we stayed was in Genting City, which sits on the high mountain uh, right outside of Kuala Lumpur uh, in Malaysia. And so they had. Uh, a casino they had a theme park and all of this stuff in there and so the first night we got there the guys came to me and they said hey greg we want to go to the casino so i'm like listen i don't gamble or anything like that so y'all go ahead and y'all have fun so they said well no why don't you come and just make sure we don't spend too much money and i was like all right well no problem i'll come and i'll you know i'll babysit you guys that's what y'all that's what y'all pay me for that's so we go to the casino and i'm sitting there and so you know they're playing uh you know three card stud poker and so, you know, I'm like, you know, just, you know I, I'm kind of in the mood. I'm having a couple of drinks. So I was like, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to try my hand at something. But I was like, I'm not playing three-card stud. I, I don't like the odds in that. I said, but if we can find a blackjack table, I'll play blackjack. 21, I can I can add that up. Game on. No blackjack tables. No blackjack wow. tables. Really? But you know. they had Baccarat, which if you ever played Baccarat, it's an interesting game, almost like 21, where – uh, face cards are zero, but the number cards are the full value, or face cards are something. And the way that it, the way that they explained it to me, it was almost the closest thing to blackjack. So I said, okay, deal me in. I can play baccarat. So and I take a hundred dollars. I've heard that baccarat is actually the you have the best odds. Yeah. If you like, out of all the casino games, that actually provides you the best odds to win. So mm-hmm. listen, and, and it does because what you do is uh, you can bet that your hand is going to win. 
Okay. You can bet that the dealer's hand is going to win. So you can bet against yourself or you can bet that you're going to tie. Okay. The other thing is that you can bet on other players' hands in addition to your own hand. So wow. back or, yeah, so when I'm like, okay, this, so this sounds good. <laughs> so I'm sitting at the table and I say, okay, and I say all I'm a, all I'm going to spend is $100. Mm-hmm. Put my $100 on the table, I win. Okay, all right, that's luck. So I can take what I just won, and I'm going to put this on the table and see what happens. If I lose, no bad. You know, I got my $100 to walk out. Put my money down on the table, I win. It gets to the point. So I'm standing at the table for about 30 minutes, and I'm winning. I lose a few, but I'm winning overall. So my $100 quickly became $3,000. Wow. Off of $100. And so I have like a crowd of people around me because it's like, hey, the, this, this yeah. guy has, you know, the this guys the that moment. I came, yeah, the guys that I came with that bet. And I mean, people are winning money on my hand. So in addition, my 3000 probably got some folks, you know, maybe, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to get myself open to say, I've won $20,000 overall. I'm going to take credit for that. <laughs> and so what happened was there was this one hand. And I was bet, I, I put a $500 bet. I mean, I'm playing like I'm, I'm a high roller, which I'm not. But I, listen, I'm playing with somebody else's money right now, so I don't care. So I take a $500 bet, and so people are betting, and so I win the hand. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, you know, and I'm telling, you know, go ahead, everybody get your money, get your money. Because you know, you get your money. I'm just like, you know, get your money, get your money. So then I'm looking, so I turn around and I look, and my chips are gone. Now, remember I told you, I'm from, I'm from Perry, Taylor County, Florida. <laughs> all right. Florida, all, right? And, <laughs> all right. And, and, and I know you're from Eaton. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a couple things you don't mess with people on, and I don't care where you're from, it's their money. It's their money. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm in a legit casino. <laughs> and I look at the dealer and I say, don't you deal another card. Yeah. <laughs> I said, my money is gone. He was right. like, no, we can't. I said, listen, I said, do not deal another card until you find my money. Right. Don't deal another card. So now I easily... Could have gone to a Malaysian jail that night oh, man. <laughs> because I was making a scene. I could have easily. Gone. But to their credit, you know, like the, the equivalent of a pit boss came down and he said, OK, sir, what's the problem? I said, listen, I have money that I just won and somebody stole my money. So I was like, well, you know, can we just get you to step back from the table so we can continue to play? So I'm like, OK, all right, I'm not going to act too crazy because I think this is where they take you to the back room. So, like, cool, <laughs> so, the, guy says, yeah, yeah. so, so the guy comes back because, listen, in, in Malaysia. In the hotel where we were, you could be uh, you can be put in jail for chewing gum. Whoa! Really? So l- listen, so I'm, I'm taking big chances here by just acting yeah. a fool. And so what the what the pit boss did was he went to the eye in the sky. They had the eye in the sky where they could look and see everything that goes on. And to their credit, they went out, they looked at the eye in the sky, and they came back about 15 minutes later, and they handed me my money. They said we looked at the tape, and, and so- we saw the guy reach over your shoulder. And take your money. Yeah. Now, here's the thing that I'm hoping that they did too. I'm hoping that they saw him, caught him, and they waterboarded him. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> maybe, maybe set him up for a gang rape with the lady boys. <laughs> with the lady boys. Yeah. yeah.